demonstration of Android controlled hovercraft project. So, as you can see here, we have a hovercraft uh, you know that moves uh, on land as well as water. So, you know the we are using uh, AVR family microcontroller and here and that is an uh, this is a Bluetooth device here. The Bluetooth receiver. This is used to receive Bluetooth commands. Uh, sent by an Android device and you know this is now the Bluetooth commands are supplied to that mega microcontroller the microcontroller here then uses the driver IC to drive motors uh, instead of driver IC we have used uh, charge controllers here so you know this is uh, the first motor used to lift the whole graph inside the inside this uh, thing here Okay, the, the first motor used to lift the hovercraft is mounted inside this here, and the second motor used to drive the hovercraft in the you know various direction is mounted here behind this uh, panel, and this here is a rudder, as you can see. The rudder is now used to control the direction of the hovercraft. Uh, this rudder is operated by a servo motor. Uh, which is also interfaced to the microcontroller. So you know this uh, hovercraft is uh, uh, an advanced system that uh, controls both the motors along with the rudder to you know achieve uh, uh, you know movement on uh, land as well as water as desired. So let's see how the system works. So now let's connect the system. Now we have connected the battery. So now let's start our Android application that we will be using to control the whole graph. And now let's connect to the device here. That is the Android uh, the Bluetooth receiver. Let's connect to it. Now we have connected to it here. It shows that connection established so now let's uh, you know start the hovercraft to make it hover for that uh, we can press the edge button here to start and then the movement commands are used to control the direction so first let's check the rudder operation or left right you know this is how the rudder moves so now let's uh, make the whole graph over through edge so this way pressing the power button again uh, you know brings it uh, you know stop the motor gradually and uh, it stops hovering so when in hover mode uh, you know after we start the second motor by up command here so it also starts moving up forward and using the rudder we can control its direction so now let's see a live demonstration of the hovercraft working in a real-time environment Woo! <laughs> 